The patient voice is absolutely critical and there are different ways of capturing the patient voice, but it is rarely done. And if it is done, it's often not reported and shared as part of the trial outcomes. This is really important because, as I said earlier, we're trying to look at not just individual experiences, but collective experiences across the trials in order to ensure that we can support people who perhaps may be hesitant to be recruited to a trial because they're concerned about some elements that they might not want to embark upon. We want to ensure that trials are open to a really diverse community of people living with Parkinson's disease. And in order to do that, we need to make sure that we embed processes to understand their experiences as we go through. Because the more diverse those communities become, the more challenges we may encounter in their ability to take part in trials. And the more we may need to um, look at trial processes to make sure that we can accommodate for those requirements and those needs. Because everybody has a right to be able to take part in these trials.